Tom. Hello, everybody. Tom Fox here, welcoming you back to more Fire Emblem Echoes. In the last episode, we made our way slightly closer to the Tower of Duma, or Duma Tower, as it's often called by some folk. Uh, yep, yeah, by Selka. Uh, yeah, I'm doing a really good job at this intro, not butchering it at all. In this episode, we are going to go to the Fear Mountain Shrine. As I want to try and divide those two up, the witch and the, the other thing, uh, before I end up fighting them. Because I don't want to fight both of them at the same time, to be perfectly honest. Alright, uh... I'm probably yeah. I'll probably do that that witch combat and the and Nui Baba at this uh, like in the same like progression there though. Uh, but first, I'm gonna go organize my troops, make sure everything's in order for this. All right, I think I got my team all organized. Let's begin. Here we are in the Fear Mountain Shrine. What words of wisdom you got for us, Alm? Is you I can feel an uncomfortably warm breeze pushing back at me, attended by a low rumbling. The voices of the dead, perhaps, calling from the land beyond, hungry again for life. The land knows no deeper pit than this. The guts of Fear Mountain. Okay. Uh, so my choices for some of these uh, allies that I have. There we go, are for the fact that I believe in here we are going to get into uh, possibly getting ourselves uh, some level ups here. So let's see, he would, that guy would die immediately. Attack, he would be left at eight. How much damage does Delthea do with fire? Quite a bit, so if I just attack this Arcanist here from that for 80, let's see. I think just the standard attack would be fine. Hopefully both of them hit. One, and two, good. And that should give Delthea enough to be able to come in for the kill with fire. Uh, it would do... Yeah, all right, 80% chance to hit. I'm counting on you, Delthea. She crit. So the people I brought into this are people who can be upgraded or who are, who are probably close to being able to be upgraded. No, you weird fanged woman. So she she still has a uh, so she's got Seraphim. That's really good actually. So she's got a little bit of uh, ways to go before she can be upgraded. Faye can be upgraded finally, uh, and so can Lucas and Alm. And uh, I brought Luthier and uh, and Delthea here, so in case they get the level ups needed to be able to be upgraded. Uh, so let's see. If I use Sagitte, that would kill. But also almost kill me, but for just from use of that. Let's go. Uh, so I want Luthier to be able to, to just breeze through one of them, so I'm gonna have Alm come over here and just attack this guy with the hero sword. And hopefully he doesn't crit! We've got a big hit there with, uh, I think he's using Mire, yep. Easy pickings. Easy pickings. I think that's more accurate. Excalibur's more accurate, but... I'd rather have the 95% chance to hit, honestly. Didn't even, well, I, I 28% chance to crit isn't like a guaranteed crit. I mean, like, it's gigantic, which is why it makes me think that it should be a guaranteed crit. Anyway, I'm gonna move the sheet. I should, probably should have had Silk do something. But, uh, that's not gonna be happening. Does anybody else have good resistance? Uh, he can't hit him. Faye can hit somebody with, uh, with Nosferatu. And actually, using Nosferatu would be good in of itself, just because she would just be able to heal from it. So she'll get hit for six, and then crit, and then heal up for a lot more. The thing I like about Nosferatu in this is that it exchanges accuracy for, uh, basically... Ooh, that's not good. I don't know if that's even gonna hit. Okay, good. It exchanges accuracy for having, like, the ability to heal more than, like, the say, Nosferatu in Fire Emblem Fates or Fire Emblem, uh, Awakening. I feel like something was supposed to happen there, and it didn't. Of course we won. I'm here. <laughs> Why does that sound familiar? Oh, that's that's All Might from uh from that anime that everyone loves so much about the superheroes. Alright. Uh oh. I've aggravated it. Whatever it may be. I missed! Uh oh, that might encourage like five other people to come. 
Let's go. Okay, she's got the ability to talk. So let's talk. Um Hey, Faye. Our journey will be over soon, won't it? And because of that, there's something I need to tell you. I know now probably isn't the best time in the world, but I have to get it out. All right, I'm listening. There's a dream I have, or more of a wish, I suppose. But I dream that after the war is over, you'll return with me to Ram Village. We'll have a little garden, we'll hunt our own food, and we'll never have to fight another battle for as long as we live. Pretty good dream, don't you think? Yeah, it's... it's nice. So do you think it'll come true? I'm sorry, Faye, but... No. I'm not going back to the village. I can't. Not anymore. There are too many things left for me to do. But I'll always be thankful for you and all my friends back home. I never would have found my place in the world if it wasn't for you. You're very special to me, Faye. Just... Not in the way you want. So knowing all that, will you keep journeying with me anyway? Oh, I suppose. This is a pretty grand adventure after all. Still, I thought that if I came with you, we'd find something together that... Oh, never mind. I should have known such a thing wasn't really possible. But I'd like to keep my feelings for you, if that's all right. At least until we part. Will you allow me that much? Of course, Faye. I thought he was like com I thought I thought she was uh, he was completely oblivious to her, but I was wrong. Uh, I am not looking. Actually, can they? None of them can actually reach any of my units, so I'll let them approach me. Jesus! <laughs> oh god. Uh, all right, let's see. Oh no! He was my ace. Okay, I was gonna do something with him, but I guess not. Uh, what does he got? He's, uh, uh he did have that armor crush. Watch me go. I'll probably cast Seraphim on this guy. It would kill him. So would Aura. Aura takes more, uh, HP, though, so. Plus, Seraphim is super accurate. Really hoping for the crit. Also, she's got ridiculous resistance. Alright, Luthia! Easy, picking. Easy pickings. Let's get some... Oh, no, he gets two hits, okay. Some Excalibur going! No crit! If it was a crit, I could have saved another little bit of HP there, but I denied him the ability to attack. Alright, let's Nosferatu this guy, get him down enough so that Forsyth can take him out. Uh, please get him down enough so that Forsyth can take him out. I feel the mother's protection. I also feel hurt and betrayed by my best friend. Oh, but that was secret. Never mind. Uh, that would kill. Stand back. Stand back. Come at me, fools. Come at him, fools. Well, let's let's give him a let's give him a little bit of the thunder. You know, like from from Yu-Gi-Oh GX. Manjome thunder. God, that's only a reference to the to the to the uh, the, the original Japanese of that, because I think they replaced it in the English dub with Chaz it up, because he was called Chaz in the English. I did it! Oh, and you helped or whatever. <laughs> gracious! Oh, how very gracious she is. All right, took down those fools. Uh, hit a wall. I got some drinking water. I thought it was like a leg of lamb or something like that. Ooh, there's a breakable d entrance over there. Mmm. Anything more down here? Yes, there's an entire hallway down here. Let me read this tablet to make sure nothing is going to go completely awry. Do you possess power? Then show it to me. Test yourself in battle. I think I can retreat any time from these battles, so let's give it a shot. I can't see how much HP he has! 
He's carrying a gossamer hair. This unique, tr the unique transparent hair of a dragon. Around him, he also has... Uh, specters. Two night specters, one sniper specter, and one, uh... One pfft, sage specter. Nullify ailments. Prevents ailments like stun and poison. I didn't even know that was a thing in this game. He's also a flyer, so... Fine, twist my arm. What's his range, anyway? He's a dragon, so he's gonna have a lot. Yeah. I don't think his... His speed is awful, so he's not gonna be able to do much. Hell, I might just be able to take him out with, uh... Ooh, I can't even reach him the first turn. All right. Let me see. All right, so he'll be able to come forth and attack with 20 attack. Versus a lot of these guys with the lackluster defense. Uh, he can't go very far, so what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna put Forsyth right here. And then I'll move Delphia and Alm back. Move Python up one, and then... Let the... Let, let's cast the die! Ooh, he's going after Alm! Alright, well at least I can see his health now. At least what remains of it. I put him in the wrong spot. All right, since he's a flyer, he's gonna take a heavy, hefty hit from this, and and, <laughs> and mayhaps even a critical. Actually, I kind of hope he doesn't get a critical, so that way I can finish him off with Luthier or Delphia. Good. All right, excellent. Both of them hit, and we are gonna be in good standing to be able to take out a gigantic freaking dragon. Uh, okay. Let's go with fire and simply take him out as such. Or I miss. There we go. How great was that? that didn't provide a lot of experience at all. Wow. I did get the gossamer hair though. Uh, I'm gonna put that back in there and hopefully there's a better description for it later on. Meanwhile, let's see if I can take out this archer here. And... The Weapons Triangle doesn't exist in this game, so we're gonna be good here. Arts, Subdue. Uh, let's just go with a base attack. I might kill him. Due to crit, yep. This is how it's done! This is how it's done! Uh, he unlocked the Double Lion Combat Art. I'll have to take a look at that at some point. Alright, let's go ahead and move Forsyth up here. I'm gonna move Luthier up here. Uh, Faye I'm gonna move up as well. And I'm actually gonna use Physic, which I don't think she actually has. No, she doesn't. I should've used Physic when I had the chance. Gray can come over here, and Lucas can come up this way. Enemies go! When I was in that, I was like, oh man, I'm totally not ready for this. And it was just like, it was super easy. Okay. And... All right, uh... I'll get this done. So... See, I don't want him to crit, because I want Luthier to finish him off. And Fire will do that! I'd, like I said, I, uh, I've said this before, but I'd rather use Excalibur just because it has 15 more accuracy. It's a waste of health a little bit, but I'd prefer getting a, a practically guaranteed hit over not hitting at all. Black Magic... Delphi is an especially gifted mage, so she'll be able to take him out easily. <laughs> All right, and we got a mage. I probably should have moved Delthea, actually. Uh, Silk has good resistance, so we'll move her here. I probably should have healed up Balm as well. 17! What is he using? He had... Oh, he was using Sagitte! I think, I think at his base, he, used, he just uses fire. Attack, that'll kill. Is he using fire or Sagitta? He's using fire. Alright, uh... Strike with Delthea, finish off with... Alright, yeah, let's, that sounds good. Fire will kill him, actually. Uh, so maybe strike with Luthier and finish off with Delthea? Yeah, fire from him won't kill him. I'll give it a shot, because if I crit, then that'd be good. He did not crit, alright. I at least did give him a, t a slight touch of, uh, of experience points, though. All right, let's go ahead and fire in the hole. She crits. 
Biddly, 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 bid. What level did I get her at? She was like level one, wasn't she? She was really low level compared to everybody else. Oh, and you helped her, whatever. Wait, how much? Hold on, can I scroll back up? Yeah. Why did Luthier only get like two bonus experience from that? He, I think he only killed one guy actually, so never mind. Well done. Now open the gate ahead and seek more power beyond. I've received Duma's Lance. What is that? Oh, I kind of want to just see what that does. Duma's Lance, a lance under divine providence. Uh, has a power of six, crit of 10, hit of uh, 80, is a weight of three and a range of one. It's, it is pretty damn good. <laughs> Open the gate and uh, get more power, huh? Hmm. Well, I want to see what's in here first. I keep forgetting that it's A to attack. So like, sometimes what if I don't attack something right away? It's because I I thought that the uh, I forgot what the button was to attack. Ooh, a farthing. Another farthing. And what do we got here? A lot of farthings. I should really spend that money somewhere. I'm trying to think, like, is the reason a, a, the a penny th farthing is called what it is because of uh, the fact that the the wheels, the, like the the wheels look like a penny compared to a farthing? Because a farthing is a is like a an, a really old increment of uh, of currency. Oh, was that it? Was that the entire area? No, there's still uh, a ways to go through this. Okay, uh. Let's talk to some people. Forsyth. When I first enlisted, the deliverance was shorthanded. And yet, the men running it were still all knights of noble birth. Only one of them paid any heed at all to my or Python's exploits. That's right. It was Sir Clive. He made me a lieutenant even when the others cried no. Then he made sure Python was taken care of as well. I'm not sure Python fully appreciates it, but that's a separate issue. With so many people opposing me, I knew I'd never truly be their equal, but the chance Sir Clive gave me meant something, and I shall never forget it. I swore to follow that man to the ends of Valentia if he asked. You know, you probably could have said the world, because I think Valentia is just the continent. It's so cold in the Regalian Empire. Nothing at all like Zofia. When we first left Ram, I never dreamed we would come so far. I hope Ma and Pa and Nana are doing all right without me. I send them letters, you know. Just the other day, I got one back. They said I talk too much about you. They want to know what's happening with me, not you. But they don't understand that I am writing about myself. Or at least, I'm writing about what matters to me. Oh, Faye. Oh, Faye, you poor dear child. I got mana herbs, and now we can upgrade three of our units. Yet another Mila statue. Go to the Mila Idol, change class. Um, let's upgrade you from, uh, what were you before? You are a fighter and upgrade you to hero. Upgrade to the hero class. Oh, he gets, he, oh my God, he can use bows as well? I think that's been the bog standard for a lot of heroes, for a lot of the hero classes in Fire Emblem, but still, that's not bad. Class change. Now I'll show them what I can really do. And now he's learned the ability to use bows. That's pretty damn cool. Lucas, let's uh, let's upgrade you to a knight. You do not get a lot of uh, upgrade to that though, do you? Your skill and speed are still horribly low. You only get two defense from it. Class change. Whatever it takes to see the task through. His luck, I mean, resistance is, something, isn't, is not something that a soldier gets. And I think there's one other, yeah, Faye, I could upgrade her to a saint, so now she could finally use black magic. Well, no, well, she can use black magic, but just not a lot of it. I love how, like, I just didn't, well, I, that's a really nice outfit on her. Um, she learns Seraphim, and she also learns Soothing Night, a uh, Soothing Night, Soothing Light, and Absolve. All right, now unless Luthier and Delthea are going to gain the levels necessary to upgrade in this area, which they're pretty damn close. Like the next encounter with somebody could do it. 
I don't think we're going to be doing anything. I'm going to make an offering to restore the party's, uh, the party's stamina. Oh, Milla, I offer you this carrot. A gentle light fills the area. All fatigue has been cured. Brave the gate of the living only if your greed exceeds your desire to live. May you walk always in, in, Milla's in, in the light of Milla's blessing. All right, uh, sorry, it just, I, I just saw somebody on Twitter like something of mine that had like a ridiculously long name and I was really confused by it. Then I forgot that they in increased the, the title, the, the amount you could have as a, as a name by 50. Oh, that's the gate. Oh, hang on a sec. Uh, before we move on, I want to see what's down the other path. Because it might be something different. Like, yep, I figured as much. Please let one of these be HP for Delphia. Uh, speed. And luck. I think luck affects critical hit chance. Delphia's got ridiculous luck. I have some luck to Python. I'm gonna go back to the speed fountain though and give somebody else that. There are a few people in my party who could definitely benefit from speed, Luthier being one of them. Uh, Silk needs it more. Whoops! Alright. The fountain's dried up. Really wish we got HP for so I can give that to, uh, to Delphia. Alright, I'm gonna see what's down this way. Because they made it seem like it's some sort of trial. Hello. Show the idol your power to open the gates to hell. This does not seem good. This this almost seems like it's going to be some sort of tri like I said some sort of trial. Left the gate of the dead, right gate of the living. What was it that the Milla statue said? Uh right is the gate of the living. I think they wanted me to go to the gate of the living. Damn it. I, now I need to Oh, I hope I make the right choice here. I feel like Gate of the Dead would probably mean that it's just gonna be like, oh, you're gonna die. Fear Mountain Shrine. Let's keep moving. I say warily. I don't see any... There's... Okay, there's something there. So let me see what's down the other path first. I want to get a lay of the land before I start making decisions all willy-nilly here. Alright, you don't look that tough, so let's go ahead and strike you. Blurg! Alright, so we got a bunch of your garden variety terrors. Numbing claws! Claws that drip with a paralyzing agent! Oh boy! And an entombed. So there's revenants and entombed. Revenants. Oh jeez, I don't even know what paralysis does. These guys have zero resistance. This guy's got eight, so I need to hit him with a physical guy. Lucky, there's a physical guy. Oh, please tell me you're gonna hit, because otherwise things are gonna go very sour for you. Uh, good, good sir knight. Thank goodness. That was oddly specific. Okay, um... The mother walks with me. Well, Seraphim is good against these things no matter what, so if I just hit him with Seraphim, I'd be very close to killing him. Even on the advent of critting. 34 damage, though. Yikes. I, I should say 34 damage and they're still standing. Yikes. This one I think is gonna- no, this one's gonna take about the same, except, uh, si except Silk critted, so... 102. Is that the first triple digits I've seen in terms of... of that? Oh god, I'm using a bow, but like, I'm at the, like, the base stance for, like, using a bows in general. Uh, I think I've got Thunder, yeah. Use that to take him out. Come at him, fools! 
Why don't you Sagitte here just to get a little bit of weakness in on him? The, honestly, the more I damage these guys, the better, because they do a ton of damage. It's the first time I've encountered anything with numbing claws, so... That's very disturbing. Alright, let's go ahead and use Sagitte on this one. They should all be pretty easy pickings now. Depending on who whom I attack with whom. I think I probably used whom wrong, but I don't really care. Uh, that'll definitely kill. Aura Seraphim. Seraphim's got more accuracy. It won't take two of them to kill him though, so that's that'll be fine. Bip! Thanks for the diversion. Huh! I guess one. Hey, I think I got the hang of this. Why didn't Lucas gain so much experience from that? All right, uh, fire should kill. I only get one attack on him though. His speed is really that low? Excalibur? I'm gonna use Excalibur just because it's more accurate. I don't want a chance missing. Man, I feel this is gonna be an uphill battle. My mind has been cleared. Luthier has gained the access to change to the Sage class. Excellent. I'll give Tobin some ex much needed experience here, unless he can't kill him. That almost seems par for the course for him at this point. Royal sword or bow? It's weird being able to use either or. Especially in this case. Oh, with him as the hero class. That definitely looked like a heroic victory pose there. That was a fine victory. A fine victory indeed. Silk and Lucas are both, and Tobin are all at 90, uh, 99 experience. I do not want to be going near anything that has numbing claws as the ability. Oh, a farthing! I know they're called marks, but I don't know. I like calling them different uh, terms for coins. Uh, this is a dead end, so the area where that knight was is the way to go. I think I'll do one more, like, short battle and then I'll end it off. End off the episode here. Uh, let's see if I can get this guy on the ropes and BAM! It's all the sword guys whom, if I recall correctly... Yep, they all have quite a bit of... Do one of them have a shield? Yeah, that guy's got a shield. Speed is much lower, so that guy I definitely needs to take out with magic. Uh, preferably with either Silk or with, uh, Fey. Easy pickings. Silk, Silk, then there's Fey. Okay, um... Let me go ahead and... Get you a little bit of a beastly Terra here. I don't think I've ever, I've ever come across things that do any sort of, like, damage. Or do any, uh, any... That, where I can do, like, paralysis or poison to people. That's very new to me. Luthier can finish them off with Excalibur! I must reach the heart of truth. I don't know what that is, but you're more than welcome to do so. Yeah, so she's probably got a couple levels to go before she's gonna be able to, to uh, do anything there. Alright. In the meantime, I've got Seraphim to cast at people. That won't even kill them fully. This is gonna be a rough battle. Wasn't Seraphim the... So, uh, Seraphim I thought was supposed to be the spell that's- I guess I don't have enough speed to keep up with him. Eight? Six? What? Maybe- uh, may, Oh, you know what? I think Seraphim actually lowers speed. Yeah, because of its weight. Ugh. The mother walks with me. Well, Seraphim still has more damage than anything else I've got, so... We're gonna have to go with that. I'm glad I brought a lot of mages here, because a lot of these things have great defense, but very little in terms of, well, other things. Black magic, uh, I guess I could fun- I could Sagitte him as well. Give him the old Sagitte! I think I've hit with every single mage that I got. No way, I think there's one missing. Yeah, I haven't done anything with, uh, with Delthea yet. Uh... my arm. I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead. I'm gonna just go ahead and just go ahead and just go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, heavy draw this guy here. Boom! It was you or me. 
Python is... Python does not need to be upgraded anymore. Impressed yet? I don't even know if there's a, if there's a, an upgrade from Sniper. Like Sharpshooter, maybe? She's fast enough. Oh, I get... Okay, he's got, he's got a, a gimp speed, though. But she's got ridiculous speed anyway. So she's fast enough to be able to use Seraphim without, like, good lord. This girl, Delphia. <laughs> How great was that? Wonderful. Uh, eight versus ten. Let's try for the eight guy. He's not gonna be able to do anything. He's got a shield for Christ's sake. It's gonna leave him with one. Unless he's actually no, that works out in my favor. Use that. Why is his defense so low? What? Oh, give me a break. <laughs> Someone on my team might die. Just, uh, just calling that out there as a, as a maybe. Let's go. Ooh, especially if it's Delthea! If I could turn back time! Allow me. If I could find a way! Thank goodness. Wada da la da da da. I think you can take back level ups and they'll change depending on what you do. Okay, Tobin will actually finally be able to take something down. I, I have him pretty much with the with the the goal of him being a shield. Like I haven't given him a weapon yet because his, his defense isn't that great. All right, he, his defense is better, so I might take the shield away from him and give him something else. Let's go. All right, he's got the royal sword, which yep, it's gonna cut through that guy with relative ease. Makes crushing rock seem such a breeze. Oh, he may move slow and he can't jump high, but this hero's one hell of a guy. I did it. Oh, oh, and you guys helped too. All right. So, for the time being, uh, I kind of hope everything in here stays dead. If not, I'm just gonna run by everything. But uh, next time on Fire Emblem Echoes, we're gonna continue exploring this area in here. Hopefully f figuring out its its secrets and mysteries, and hopefully nothing respawns because I'm gonna go back to the Mill Shrine real quick. And uh, hopefully, we'll get through here without any sort of issue. See you all then, later.